our previous lecture we read that a poor peasant rajkumar shukla approached gandhi ji he was one of the share croppers of champaran rajkumar shukla wanted gandhi ji to visit his district and look into the condition of the peasants he came to the congress session to complain about the injustice of the land road system in bihar and someone suggested him to meet gandhi ji at the time gandhi ji had other commitments but rajkumar shukla accompanied him wherever he went finally gandhi ji was impressed by his determination and story and he told him to come to calcutta and take him from there gandhi ji and rajkumar shukla went to patna bihar to meet a lawyer named rajendra prashad rajendra prashad was the man who later became the president of the congress and of free india at the time rajendra prashad was out of town the servants knew shukla as a poor peasant who pestered their master to help the indigo share croppers as gandhi ji accompanied him they thought him to be another farmer and they did not allow gandhi ji to drink water from the well due to untouchability it means they thought that that the entire source of the well would be polluted if rajkumar shukla or gandhi ji would touch then gandhi ji decided to visit muzaffarpur before champaran to get some more information about the case he sent a telegram to professor j b kriplani who received them at the station with a number of students there gandhi ji stayed for two days in the house of professor malkani who was a government teacher and gandhi ji himself said that that at the time it was an extraordinary thing to harbor a man like him a man like him means the advocate of home rule after that gandhi ji called the lawyers who represented in the law courts who took the cases of these uh, share croppers in the law court and he wanted to know the fees charged by those lawyers also so when he came to know about the fees the heavy fees he chided them and he said that that taking such cases in the law court was useless Gandhi concluded that the peasants were so crushed and fear stricken that going to law court was useless the real relief for them was to be free from fear afterwards we read about the share cropping arrangement which, which was there in champaran at the time according to that ancient settlement the arable land is divided was divided into large estates estates owned by the british landlords and worked by the poor peasants and they had to they means the share croppers they had to plant indigo crop on 15% of their total land and had to surrender the entire crop to the british landlords as rent and this was done by long term contract so up to this we read in our previous lecture now we'll start from here from page number 49 third paragraph sorry second paragraph 
Presently, the landlords learned that Germany had developed synthetic indigo. Synthetic means artificial. Now, what happened? The landlords, the British landlords, they learned, they came to know that Germany had started developing synthetic indigo. They thereupon obtained agreements from the sharecroppers to pay them compensation for being released from the 15% arrangement. Compensation means the payment. So now as the landlords came to know about synthetic indigo, now they wanted to release the sharecroppers from this 15% arrangement and they wanted compensation for being released from that arrangement. The sharecropping arrangement was rixum. Rixum means annoying, frustrating to the peasants. And at the time, all the sharecroppers, they became fed up of that arrangement, that indigo sharecropping arrangement. And this arrangement became very irritating or frustrating for these peasants. And many signed willing. And that is the reason many sharecroppers signed that arrangement willingly. It means willingly they gave compensation amount to the British landlords. Those who resisted. Resisted means opposed. Jinoni virod kiya. Engaged lawyers. It means they hired lawyers. The landlords hired thugs. Thugs means thugs means the powerful people who force others. So, when the sharecroppers engaged lawyers, they denied to sign that arrangement, the landlords hired thugs. Meanwhile, the information about synthetic indigo reached the illiterate, illiterate, uneducated peasants who had signed and they wanted their money back. And by the time uh, the sharecroppers who signed that arrangement willingly, they also came to know about the synthetic indigo in the market. So now they wanted their money back. So at that point, Gandhi arrived in Champaran. It means that is the point when Gandhi ji arrived in Champaran on the request of Rajkumar Shukla. कि यही वो पॉइंट था कौन सा पॉइंट कि व्हेन द शेयर क्रॉपर्स हु साइंड द अरेंजमेंट विलिंगली एंड गेव कंपनसेशन टू द ब्रिटिश लैंडलॉर्ड्स केम टू नो अबाउट सिंथेटिक इंडिगो एंड नाउ दे वांटेड देयर मनी बैक सो दैट वाज द पॉइंट गांधी अराइव्ड इन चंपारण ही बिगिन बाय ट्राइंग टू गेट द फैक्ट्स एंड हाउ ही स्टार्टेड हाउ गांधी जी स्टार्टेड ही स्टार्टेड getting more and more facts about the case. First, he visited the secretary of the British Landlords Association. The secretary told him that they could give no information to an outsider. And when Gandhiji went or he visited the secretary of British Landlords Association and wanted uh, some information then secretary told him that they could not give any information to an outsider it means he considered gandhiji an outsider because gandhiji was not from champaran he was from gujarat so they considered him outsider gandhi answered that he was no outsider and on that gandhiji answered that he was not an outsider he was an Indian and as an Indian he had right to get information about his own people. So he said that, that he was not an outsider. He was an Indian. Next Gandhi called on the British official commissioner of the Trihar division in which the Champaran district lay. And afterwards, Gandhiji was called by the British official commissioner of the Trihad division. The commissioner Gandhiji reports. Gandhiji says that he reports that that the commissioner 
proceeded to bully me. Proceeded. Proceeded means begin. To bully. Bully means try to threaten him. He usko darani ki koshish ki and advised me forthwith. Forthwith means immediately to leave Trihat. It means the British official commissioner Kohl Gandhi ji and he began to bully Gandhi ji and advised him to leave Trihat division immediately. Ki Gandhi ji ko Trihat division chhodne ke liye kaha gaya ki turant wo us jagya ko chhod kar chale jaye. Gandhi did not leave, but Gandhi ji, he came there to help the sharecroppers. So he did not follow that order. He did not leave Trihat division. Instead, he proceeded to Motihari. Instead of leaving Trihat, he moved to Motihari, the capital of Champaran. And at the time, Motihari was the capital of Champaran. Several lawyers accompanied him, and not only Gandhi ji. But many other lawyers also accompanied him. Him is Gandhi ji. At the railway station, a vast multitude greeted Gandhi. Multitude, a large number. So, at the railway station, a number of people greeted. Greeted means welcomed Gandhi ji. He went to the house and, and using it as headquarters, continued his investigation and in Motihari he went to a house and he started using that house as headquarters and he continued his investigation from there. A report came in that a peasant had been maltreated in a nearby village and at the time a report came that a peasant, a poor peasant was maltreated. Maltreated means ill-treated. He had been ill-treated by the Britishers, the British landlords or British officials in a nearby village. Gandhi decided to go and see. And for that, Gandhi ji decided to go there and see the matter. He wanted to know that what had happened there. He wanted to know that why it happened. The next morning, he started out on the back of, of an elephant. He had not proceeded for when the police superintendent's messenger overtook him and ordered him to return to town in the carriage. He had not proceeded far. He had not reached far. He had not proceeded far. When the police superintendent's messenger came there and he ordered him to return to town in his carriage. Gandhi complied. Complied means? What do you mean by complied? Complied means denied or disobeyed. Sorry, Gandhi ji complied. Complied means obeyed, agreed. So, Gandhi ji obeyed the superintendent's messenger and he returned back to his headquarter. The messenger drove Gandhi home where he served him with an official notice to quit Champaran immediately. And at the time, the messenger, he drove, he dropped Gandhiji home and at home, he served him with an official notice. And what regarding what it was, it was to quit, to leave Champaran immediately. It means Gandhiji was ordered to quit Champaran immediately, to leave Champaran Immediately, Gandhi signed a receipt for the notice and wrote on it that he would disobey the order. And Gandhi ji signed the receipt that he had received that order. And he wrote on that receipt that he would disobey that order. It means Gandhi ji denied to obey that order. The order to quit Champaran at once. In consequence, Gandhi received the summons to appear in court the next day. In consequence means as a result, means as he disobeyed the order, Gandhi received the summons. He got another order, a notice to appear in court the next day. It means as he disobeyed a official 
an official order so gandhi ji was called to appear in the court the next day all night gandhi remarked remained awake and throughout night he remained awake jagte rahe he telegram rajendra prasad to come from bihar with influential influential means having great influence having great name or power friends he telegram rajendra prasad and he asked him to come from bihar with his other lawyer friends he sent instructions to the ashram also he wired a full report to the viceroy it means he wired means telegram he also telegram the full report of the matter to the viceroy of the city morning found the town of motihari back with peasants and next morning when gandhi ji appeared in the court in the law court they found that the town of motihari was black with peasant it means a large number of peasants gathered in the town to support gandhi ji they did not know gandhi ji's record in south africa and they they means the peasants who gathered there they did not know anything about gandhi ji's report record in south africa it means they did not know what gandhi ji did in south africa they had merely merely means only heard that a mahatma who wanted to help them was in trouble with the authorities it means why they came there they did not know anything about gandhi ji's work in south africa they on, they had only heard that a mahatma who came there to help them was in trouble and he was troubled by the british authorities their spontaneous demonstration spontaneous means voluntary unforced demonstration demonstration means protest in thousands it means in thousands in number the peasants gathered there so their unforced protest around the court house was the beginning of the liberation liberation means freedom from fear of the british it means it was the first time when the poor peasants dared to raise their voice against the british officials so their unforced protest around the court house was the beginning of their freedom from the fear of the british government the official felt powerless without gandhi ji's corporate cooperation the officials the official means the british officials they felt powerless without gandhi ji's cooperation it means at the time a number of people gathered there in court so the british officials the government officials felt powerless helpless without gandhi ji's help he helped them regulate the crowd regulate means control he he means here he here refers to gandhi ji gandhi ji helped them them is the officials to regulate the crowd to manage the crowd he was polite and friendly gandhi ji was polite and friendly it means he was so polite and friendly that he helped the british officials to manage the crowd to control the crowd he was giving them concrete concrete means solid proof that their might their might means their strength their strength means the british official strength the british government strength hitherto means abhi tak dreaded dreaded means what do you mean by dreaded dreaded means regarded with great fear or apprehension it means abhi tak wo kaisi thi nobody dare to oppose them it means the indian peasants they were afraid of their might their power they were strength and unquestioned and their might was dreaded and unquestioned could be challenged by indians it means at the time gandhi ji was giving solid proof to the britishers that up to that point their power was unquestioned 
the indian peasants they were afraid of their strength their power now it could be challenged by the indians कि यहाँ पे जो इतने सारे लोग इकट्ठे हुए हैं ये किस चीज का सबूत दे रहे थे कि अब जो इंडियन पीजेंट्स है दे कुड ऑल्सो चैलेंज द माइट ऑफ द ब्रिटिशर्स द स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ द ब्रिटिशर्स द पावर ऑफ द ब्रिटिशर्स द गवर्नमेंट वॉज बैफल्ड बैफल्ड मीन्स कंफ्यूज एट द टाइम द गवर्नमेंट द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट वॉज कंफ्यूज दे डिड नोट नो वॉट टू डू एंड how to do the prosecutor requested the judge to postpone the trial the lawyer the government lawyer prose, prosecutor means the government lawyer requested the judge to postpone to delay the trial aur jo judge jo lawyer hai wo case ko postpone karne ki request karte hain apparently apparently means seemingly evidently clearly the authorities wished to consult their superiors and why the lawyer requested to postpone the trial it was very clear that they wanted to consult with their superiors so beta up to this we read i have written meanings of the difficult words so write these meanings in your book also and rest of the lesson we will do in our next lecture thank you